Jiro Takamatsu is an artist who rethought the possibilities of sculpture. He trained as a painter, but in 1961, turned his attention to three dimensions. In his notebooks, Takamatsu carefully organized his works into series. Always logical, Takamatsu began with what he called the smallest necessary thing and expanded it into space. Imagine starting with a point and stretching it into the surrounding world. That is exactly what Takamatsu did in the early 1960s. He pulled points into the world, stretching a line through museums, into the street and across train platforms, often with things he found lying around his home and studio knotted into these lines of length. Takamatsu described swelling a point snowman style, creating sculptures that expanded their form in a mirror to the high economic growth that could be seen in Japan during the early 1960s. In 1964, Takamatsu started to make sculptures out of the immaterial. First, he worked with shadows and then with one point perspective. Throughout his work, Takamatsu was interested in encouraging us to rethink how we perceive our surrounding world. Shadows are so familiar that we rarely think about them. However, if we're trying to draw something, we will always use shadows to give the impression of volume. Single point perspective is the most basic way to represent depth on a flat plane. It uses mathematically derived vanishing points. Takamatsu made use of both shadow and perspective, giving these optical effects form. In 1966, he filled a room with shadows and made perspective something that can be touched. In 1971, he filled a hoarding surrounding a building site with shadows, and passers-by were invited to mingle with their shadow counterparts. Takamatsu was invited to take part in many landmark exhibitions, including the Venice Biennale, Documenta in 1977, and in 1970, Between Man and Matter, the 10th edition of the Tokyo Biennial. At the Tokyo Biennial, Takamatsu presented his first example from a series that he named Oneness. It consisted of 16 sculptures made of cedar wood. The upper part was pared back and plain smooth. It looks as if it has been prepared to make a beam that you might build a house with. The rest, however, was left raw and unprocessed. These are sculptures that are somewhere between log and lumber. Throughout the Oneness series, Takamatsu made sculptures that are simultaneously singular and plural. Each example can be repeated endlessly, yet every single version will be unique. Now Takamatsu used the same principle to a number of materials. He made works in the Oneness series from a sheet of paper, from a brick, a section of rusty iron. In each case, the artwork starts as something solid. It is a definable measure that Takamatsu breaks down and then returns to its whole. Takamatsu found that everything could be processed in this way, even studio detritus, riverbed stones, and written language. <laughs> 